Uh, in the beginning, it started off with uh, a pretty big shock of getting laid off in, uh, from work in January of 2009. I'd been with the company about 31 years. And little did I know that I would have these two with me to keep me busy. I think it's a great foundation. Like, I mean, it helps a lot of people, a lot of single parents, a lot of needy families. I just think it's amazing how one woman can do one thing that's turned in this huge organization. The temptation is to assume that someone or some organization somewhere will meet the needs of these children. They aren't. Children are living in wet diapers, hours, even days on end because there are not diapers to change them and their situation. Babies need food, shelter, diapers, and love. Diaper Love provides you the opportunity to impact a human being's life immediately, here locally, where we live. Well, you know, for me, I guess the Diaper Love journey started when I was at work one afternoon and got a call from my wife, Megan. Uh, we had our daughter, we had just had our second child born about a month earlier, and Megan calls me and she's pretty emotional and she says, I'm going across town to, to give a lady diapers. And I said, I said, wait a minute, stop, back up, tell me, what's, what are you talking about? And she said, well, I was on Craigslist. I saw someone said, you know where I can get diapers? I contacted the mother, come to find out. She just came here from California. They have a two-year-old daughter and, and they have nothing and they, and they can't change her diapers. I'm going to give her diapers, are you going? And I said, Megan, it's a scam. I said, don't, you're not going. This, people, they're taking advantage of you. And she stopped me mid-sentence. She goes, I don't care if it's a scam or not. That's between them and God. From my perspective, that baby needs diapers. I'm going, are you coming with me? So I said, yeah, I'm going. I don't want you going to, um, to a strange house by yourself. So met her at the house. We went and bought, her, bought some diapers and um, proceeded to go over to this house. And we, when we arrived there, walked to the door and uh, sweet mother opened the door, tears rolling down her face with joy seeing these diapers. And then we looked in, there's this beautiful, I'll never forget this curly, black haired, beautiful little girl with a diaper sagging. And, this is the Irish emotion in me coming out, but but you know I I had to walk outside and I and I had to say God I'm sorry, and um, and it was from there that that this need was just unbelievable to me that in, in Knoxville, Tennessee, or anywhere in America, that that um, this could be happening. It made it to where we were able to put that money we'd put towards diapers and focus more on buying food or buying what else we needed that month. There's, um, you know, help that you can get for food and there's help that you can get for um, electric and things like that, but there's um, a gap where you cannot get, you know, fun services for diapers and this was the first service that I came across that um, provided diapers for my children and it was a tremendous, tremendous help. Smiles, joy, comfort, hope, and responsibility. Your donation makes a difference immediately and every time a diaper is changed. Uh, we, part of the problem we had is how we're going to feed them and clothe them and all that. And, uh, we got involved with uh, WIC. We were introduced to the WIC program in Knoxville. And one of the ladies there uh, told me about Diaper Love. And my wife made the phone call. And uh, fortunately for us, uh, a week or so later, uh, Elizabeth called from Diaper Love and we received diapers and it was a true blessing. Because it's, uh, I don't know how we, we'd have probably been uh, wrapping them in my t-shirts if, if it hadn't been for Diaper Love. Uh, believe me, it came uh, just in time because we probably would have been uh, using my t-shirts for diapers. So Diaper Love has just been a real blessing to, to our family.
they can hurt. I mean, the, the most, the most, I guess, impressive symptom you'll get with kids is they will cry and fuss because if you have a diaper rash and you wet your diaper and you dirty your diaper again, guess what? That urine and stool is going to come into contact with that red irritated skin and it's going to cause pain and discomfort. And so you want to prevent that as best you can. So changing diapers, you know, again, as frequently as, need, as you need to, and again, checking every hour or so is going to be something that, uh, you know, the sooner you recognize your child's got a wet or dirty diaper, the sooner you'll change it and the less likely they'll have a diaper rash just from that. It helps me a lot. Like, it saves a lot of money on diapers. Like, it, the first month that I got it, it lasted for at least a month and a half, so it saves a lot of money. Um, that month, we probably, I don't know if we just would have eaten ramen noodles to make up for the diapers, or if we would have, there's something else we would have had to have skimp on, because you can't skimp on the diapers. Especially when at the time there's only certain brands or certain styles that the kid can wear without making a mess. Uh, you know, you can, you can get help with food and you can kind of work your way through help with electricity and, and rent and stuff like that in this situation. You know, you can kind of work through in grants and things like that from the government, but there's nothing that is provided for diapers, which is a huge necessity because you go through, you know, with small children. At one point I had two children in diapers and it's such a need so if yes these people have been wonderful and so good to me and my family so if if anyone needs help I say you know just ask you have to ask that's the first step is just asking for assistance and then the most important thing for me has been being able to give back Food stamps doesn't cover diapers, so when you have a family of, say, four or five children, uh, mom is the only uh, caretaker, dad's the only one uh, supporting the family, and it can be the difference between them paying the light bill. Um, of course, they have to have diapers, so their light will get cut off, or there won't be enough uh, groceries to give a healthy uh, meal for the kids. So. Diaper love has become indispensable. You know, so many of us who've been blessed in so many ways, some of us who have jobs, you know, you, you, never, you never appreciate your job until you no longer have it. And, and you know, parents that, that a year ago bought diapers and, and, and hygienic products for their kids and took that for granted now today are, are saying, you know, I, we don't have the resources, we don't have the capability to do that. And things that I love is when they say, you know, thank you so much for these diapers. Is there anything we can do? Can we sweep the warehouse? Can we can we come in and do some other things? And I and I love that spirit of giving, but the reality is diapers are expensive. The reality is that 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 you know when you see a mother or father or grandmother or grandfather, when they come in and they and they and they're they're tense with expectation because they have this this incredible need, a screaming child, you know, a child with something, you know, with diaper rash or something, and they come in and they're all tensed up, and then you hand them that month's worth of diapers, and you hand them those wipes, and you literally see the shoulder sag, and you'll see kind of the, the emotion start coming out. And we've, we've had grandmothers and grandfathers and parents who've literally dropped to the, to the floor in our offices to change that diaper that hasn't been changed for, for hours, if not days. And, and you start thinking about that, and you say, you know, $35, $35 for a month just impacted a life almost in a measurably way, in, in, in an immeasurable way. And I, and I think that, you know, I, we, we desperately need corporate partners and we need community partners. And we've had so many people who've, who've rallied to the cause. And as I mentioned, the, the, the demand just grows. And, and you know what, these aren't, it, it's easy for us to sit back and say, you know, these are people that are, that are maybe take advantage of the system, or these are people that, that maybe society has kicked out, but the, but the reality is, number one, that doesn't matter. But number two, it's, it, nothing could be further from the truth. We're seeing, we're seeing white collar people, blue collar people, you know, just a wide array of people that are all just, you know, I travel a lot and I travel worldwide, and here's what I'm convinced. 
I've, I've been in Russia, I've been in China, I've been in, I've been in South America, I've been in Europe, and here, I'm, the one thing I'm convinced, the one constant I'm convinced of worldwide is parents just want to be good parents. I think that Dr. Love has made an ease in the um, frustration that we feel in our family as far as being able to provide for our children, just giving us that, um, you know, that extra need that we have there for the diapers during the month is, is a huge, huge deal for our family. See, my biggest thing with even Colin was pride. I thought that I don't know that if I used the service that it was it charity wasn't a thing for me and once I got over the pride and realized how great the company is and how great the people working for it are and they don't make you feel bad for coming in and getting diapers and um, and then even you know in the future if you can give back how great and how friendly and everybody you know remembers you when you call and I don't know it's just it's not charity like you think charity is. We all can say things, hey, we're concerned about our fellow man, we're concerned about our neighbors. But to put that in action to say, I love your child enough to give them diapers because they deserve that, I think is an, is an amazingly beautiful thing to say. And, it, and a great way to show that you love someone beyond just saying it. So, so I, I'm rambling on, but I, but I encourage you and ask you to consider a donation. Diaper Love is a pass-through organization. We, we, the money that comes in is transla is translates into diapers that are put on babies' bottoms. And, and don't ever discount that whatever you can do, if it's $35 a month or if it's $100,000, I promise you and I commit to you that it will make a massive difference in lives.